welcome Aries Taurus to your end of the month reading for March. Hope your friends are doing great out there. Welcome back all subscribers and anyone new to my channel. Welcome, welcome. If you friends like this, please like and subscribe. Okay, friends, let's get straight into your energy and see what's going on with you. going on at the end of the month. Please, end of the month for Taurus, Aries, Taurus, Aries, Taurus. Feels like you're stuck in two worlds. <laughs> the two worlds over here is talking about there's a conflict in your life between what the outer world requires of you and how your own spirit directs you. You actually may have a number of past lives where you wanted to focus on your spiritual growth and therefore joined a monastery to do so. Okay. So your past life, guys, you could have joined a monastery. <laughs> okay. Just saying. Then missing the wonders that the secular world could have offered you, such as love, family, financial success, you chose the secular world exclusively in your next incarnate incarnation. Excuse me. Yet this didn't offer the spiritual focus you also sought. Because of this, it's likely that you bounced back and forth from the monastic. Monocystic. I hope you said that monocystic. Monocystic to the personal in a number of incarnations and through the number of difficult faiths. So pretty much what this is saying is that you feel like you are stuck in two different worlds. Look, there is a world that is within your heart and soul, okay, that you want to be whatever it is. This goal of yours is really what this is about. Okay, and because of the way that the world is, it's like you're just doing what the world wants you to do instead of what you want to do. Does that make sense? So sometimes we get this job that we don't really want. Let's break it down nice and easy over here. We might even get stuck with a person who we don't feel actually is fulfilling the 100% needs of what you want. You might feel like you want somebody better than what you have, but you're just settling. So it's the settling. So therefore you're divided between two worlds, okay? It's like, I wish that I could do this and that and that, and that's really what I have my heart set on doing, but instead I have to work over here, you know? So let's put it this way. I wish I could be the owner of a restaurant, but instead I'm the cook or the waitress of a restaurant. So therefore you don't feel like you're really 100% giving the best of yourself and it feels like you're stuck between two different kinds of worlds. One where you're just participating to participate, but not really feeling like you're on the destined path. Sometimes the book makes it a little, I don't know. I think it, sometimes they just make it a little hard. It's like, it's so easy. Why do you make it so hard in the reading, right? Okay, so. And if you're with this person and they're very joyful, right? They're joyful, they're fun. Um, but maybe you don't see them as the person to have children with, but they're fun for the time being, right? But you would like to move on to find the Mr. Right or Mrs. Right, right? They're cool. They're fun. You know, I have love for them, but maybe you're not in love with them. There is a difference that I love you, but I'm not in love with you. And maybe that is why you are also stuck in two worlds. <clears throat> of this. Okay. Yeah, accelerated motion. Yes, it just feels like you want to go after your chariot. You want to go after the dream, but it feels like you're just stuck in the everyday hustle and bustle of what keeps the bills going, keeps life going, but it's not exactly where you want to be. The light. 
you're happy. They're, you're happy, but you're, you know, I feel like with the light there, I think that there could be so much more happiness. It's not that you're not happy. It's just that your soul's not happy, right? Because yes, in the past, you believed you're not on the destined path because the destined path is, <laughs> is where your soul is happy. Heart chakra upside down. This is a, even in the near future, you're going to find that this is not exactly where your heart really wants to be. Um, deep down, right? Could be a fun job. You could have a lot of friends and, you know, you could, it pays the bills and, you know, I don't mind doing what I'm doing, but it's not what I want to do. There's a huge difference. So within the destiny over here, upside down, you just feel like you are not on the destined path. You do not feel that this is where you're supposed to be. Yeah, you feel that there's other offers and you are looking for other offers and you're waiting for maybe another offer to come to you. You have so many other plans and so many other things that you want coming towards you. And even if it's another person, maybe you want this, uh, this person to come to you. Maybe you want another person. Hey, just saying, right? It keeps you feeling like you're kind of in a nightmare, though. That's because of this two-world feeling. It feels like it's a nightmare you can't get out of because I can't just quit my job to try to go do this. It could be expensive. You don't have the money to open a new restaurant. We're just going to use that as an example for now, okay? Or I don't want to leave this person um, to go get this other person because it's going to make me look like a jackass, right? It has to be done the perfect way, right? If I just drop this person and run after this other person. Maybe it could be a Scorpio that you're looking for. If I just drop this other person right off and go straight over to Scorpio, it could look like I'm, you know, um, a cheater or, you know, there's all kinds of things that, you know, could come up and you don't want it to go that way, right? It would look really bad, right? And you don't want things to look bad. So it keeps you in a nightmare. And maybe you do. Maybe you have a hots for a Scorpio and maybe you're dating this Virgo or, um, Virgo, I'm sorry, maybe a Virgo, um, <clears throat> this Gemini over here or this Libra. And maybe you really do have the hots for this person. Maybe you guys have only been dating for three or four months and it's really not in anything, but you can't just, in your head, you kind of feel like you can't just drop this other person to go get the Scorpio, Right? It's going to look kind of fishy. It's not going to look right. It would have to be all for perfect timing if you were going to do so. Right? Oh my God. And then I just had this, like, that could be, that could be Gemini's friend, the Scorpio. Oh my gosh. <sighs> That's why I can't do it. Oh God. No, you can't do that. <laughs> no, you can't do that. And maybe, yeah, maybe you and the Scorpio do have kind of this connection going on and you're with their best friend. Wow, I don't know where that just came from. I just heard that you can't do that. That's their best friend. That's what I heard. <laughs> it would look too bad. It would be horrible. Oh, boy. Yeah, the world. However it is, you know that you need a new beginning um, to get yourself out of this situation um, because you just do feel like you're not on the right destined path. Queen of coins upside maybe somebody was with a Virgo or is with a Virgo because whatever it is it would make this Virgo feel I'm just gonna go Virgo now because I heard it now I'm getting an earth sign card so um, it could be making this Virgo um, suspicious right it will make you look like you're unfaithful um, things of this nature and that that Queen of coins is gonna be two in one right making you look unfaithful, making you look suspicious. Um, yeah, so you can't do that. So you're going to have to go for the new beginnings. You know this and you're trapped between two worlds. Wow. Yeah, you're in a learning phrase, uh, frame right now in a phase um, with the queen or the page of swords, excuse me. You're definitely in a learning phase. You're learning in the past on how to... What is the right word? Maybe control the situation. Give me a card. 
Well, I got the Three of Swords, so maybe you're you're learning not to make any kind of heartaches and heartbreaks or do anything. Um, to hurt anyone or yourself. Learning that this, trying to get out of this, even if it's a job is not gonna work at this time, all it's gonna do is, you know, give you heartbreak because it's all you have right now. So you're just trying to keep yourself happy with the sun and now we have the light twice. So you're just almost like you're just trying to keep yourself away from the heartache and not breaking any hearts, okay? So you're just continuing to keep doing what you're doing. Um, because no matter what, you still feel like you're happy. Um, it's just not the fullest potential. It just, with the sun here, it just feels like you're trying to um, <laughs> make it as happy as possible. Keeping everything as fresh and um, vitalized, you know, as you possibly can. Because it doesn't feel like you don't like this Virgo right? You like them. It just, I don't know what's going on. For somebody, they really do like someone else or do feel that they could do better somewhere else, right? But it just feels like you do, you're just not ready to go breaking hearts or doing anything crazy right now. You do have the accelerated motion, so I do feel an accelerated motion is just kind of learning on how to deal with the cards that are being thrown at you at this time. Let's put it that way. Queen of Swords, yeah, it's, you're staying within this happiness and within this light, but you also have this sorrow. Now, here's the two worlds, the two worlds, because deep down inside, you really want to go and do something else, and you feel like you have bigger, better plans for yourself, and you feel like you're being held back. So it's not making you the happiest, but you're trying to stay as calm and relaxed and cool about it as possible and just find the happiness and go with the flow. That's really what this is. Go with the happiness, go with the flow. Um, there is this leap of faith though over here and it does feel kind of risky. Um, are you actually, Aries Taurus, really deeply thinking that you know you're within these two different worlds and you're actually thinking about risking it all? For the accelerated motion, for this chariot in the sky, for this dream, some of you are going to risk it all. You're thinking about it right now, thinking about, you know what, I know I'm happy, um, but you know what, I don't care really what I said in the past. I'm starting to, you know, because over here, you're just like, go with the flow. And over here, you're like, I'm happy, but I'm sad and I'm not, and now all of a sudden you have the fool. Do you think you're fooling yourself? Now let's, you know, let's go there because maybe that's what it is. I'm fooling myself if I think that I'm 100% happy because deep down inside there's this piece inside of me that just says stay cool, stay calm, even though you're kind of mopey inside. Because you really have this piece inside that says bigger, better things are there for you. The chariot. Some of you are going to risk this. You're thinking about risking this. You're thinking about what is the risk. To get to my heart's desire. It's, should I take the leap of faith? Should I not take the leap of faith? But then again, you have the three of coins. And it's almost like, well, I'm not going to be recognized the way. Am I going to be recognized the way I'm going to be recognized? Um, are they going to recognize me as having a third party situation? There we go here. Yeah. For whoever that is. Yeah. You're afraid that they're going to see the queen of coins is going to see that as you having a third party situation, which never even really happened with a, this, what I say, Scorpio. So whoever story that is, that's what you're more worried about is you're afraid that even though you want to go after their friend or sister or somebody close, maybe it's just a close friend between the both of you. However, it is, you're afraid that they're going to try to, um, accuse you of having a third party situation when that was never even the case. You just like this other person more, something of this nature. Um, and you feel like there's not going to be any victory from that, but you really want to move towards your heart's desire. You really want to take the action where the passion is. Um, if it's a job or this career, you're afraid you do not have the coins, um, to be recognized within this job or have any kind of setup that's going to move you towards the victory that you're looking for anytime soon. 
but you have the, the passion and the desire to move towards it. It's just whether or not you are 100% going to take the action or just set it in your mind. You're trying to use, yeah, you're trying to use all of your knowledge over here with the high priestess to try to figure out how this is going to work, no matter what the situation is, to try to get out of these two worlds and to what you love. Over here, your heart chakra is upside down. So it's showing your heart is not open to the situation. You are imbalanced. You're not moving towards your heart's true desire. So it looks like it could just be a thought for now, and it feels like you're kind of maybe trying to play the juggling game over here in the present, my friends, on whether or not how you're going to accelerate the motion towards your heart's desire. In the near future, the possible income or outcome over here is that you're not moving. You're not going to do it. That is the possible outcome. Why? It's showing you're not. You're not going to do it. You're not going to fulfill the heart's, you know, needs, your soul's needs. Because of the Ten of Coins, you're of the Two of Cups. Because you're afraid that you're going to end up doing something wrong. Something bad is going to happen with the Ten of Swords. You're going to feel like you're sorting this other person. You're causing the same reason in the past. It's the same reason. It can give us all the different... You know, we can't have three of swords again unless I use another deck. So it's going to give us ten of swords. It's all the same reasons. Because you don't want to sword your loved one. Because even if you're not truly in love with them, you still have this love for them. And you don't want to hurt them. Or you don't want to hurt your job because your job is still doing what it's supposed to do. And there's still some good pieces and parts to this job. It's still bringing in the bills. It's still doing what it's supposed to do. Yeah, four points upside down. You just can't do that. No, nope, you're going to come to the conclusion, you know, that the only palace of coins that you can have right now when it comes to the lovers is to keep solid where you are. Because even though it's not where your heart desires, it's still a place that you're still getting the love that you... It's still dreamy love. Still dreamy love. And for some of you, you're still dreaming of this Queen of Cups. So even though it's almost like you put it on the back burner. I don't know. You're still going to do this, but you deeply desire this Queen of Cups. Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. You still deeply desire them, but you're not going to, you're not going to do it. No, because you're not going to destroy what you have with the, with the coins. Because we have the Nine of Coins upside down. You're not going to hurt the Nine of Coins. Plus, you just feel like you're just confused. You're just confusing yourself. So, yeah, you're staying loyal to yourself and to your job. And to, even though it's not exactly what you want for now, you're not moving you're not moving, but you do battle. You're going to continue to keep battling in your mind um, because you still know exactly what you want. You're not going to give up this no matter what. No matter what, you're not giving up on this, whatever this battle is. Um, it's just like now you're just whatever you're thinking really hard about now. It's going to kind of diffuse over here because um, you're going to get into the I knowing, right? I know things and I understand. So... You're, it's going to go back on the back burner again. I see that with the Two of Swords. The Page of Wands and the Five of Swords. It's just going to become your loyalties um, to yourself, to this other person, to this job, whatever it is. But you're always going to be having conflict in your mind trying to figure out how you're going to get to where you want to be. Okay. Alrighty. And let's see what your over here is. Clarify. 
says it's time to decide. Go for the heart's true desires with the infinite abundance. So when you are doing this, you're just going to have to keep going on the same. It's almost like it's the same thing saying what you're already doing. Um, you're just going to have to keep digging deep to figure out where your abundance is truly. This is a tough one for you guys. Um, but yeah, you're going to have to keep digging deep and keep the high priestess alive within yourself so that you know exactly what you're doing. Um, because sooner or later, there will be your time when you're really going to have to 100% make this decision or just stay here. Free will says, hey, you're going to do whatever you want to do. But Spirit says, no matter what you do, go for your heart's true desire. Okay? And that was it for you, my friends. Until next time, peace and love. Bye-bye.